Students from the Metro Manila, from Metro Manila rather, joined the Eco Marathon Asia. They themselves built the cars designed for energy sustainability. Jackie Pasqual, once more, tells us more. Okay. These are the cars of the future. Students from six universities designed and assembled their own environment-friendly car for the Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2011. The students were tasked to build and drive a vehicle that can travel the farthest distance on the least amount of fuel and lowest carbon dioxide emission. The University of the Philippines joined the competition for the first time. They designed and built this hybrid consisting of a diesel engine and an electric motor. The car's driver, Irvian Lau, says, except for the engine, all parts were made from scratch. There are some aftermarket parts being sold, but for our purpose, we wanted to uh, make it 100%. Um, you know, we, we wanted to do it ourselves, so basically everything is manufactured in, inside UP's uh, school facilities. The Technological University of the Philippines, meanwhile, stands out for using polypenia fiber instead of fiberglass, while the De La Salle University is building an electric car. Mapua Institute of Technology has two entries, while UST has this sports car-like vehicle. Sustainable Development Manager Ronald Suarez hopes the competition will help the public become aware of the country's energy problems. Ngayon pa lang, tayong lahat, dapat tumala tayo ng mga paraan to start making changes no? or improvements or innovations so that in the future we will have uh, still a sustained uh, and good mobility for everyone. And if you think this race is only for the men, think again. Erika Visera is the only female team leader in the competition and she's also the driver of the Don Bosco team. Itong field na po ito, parang hindi siya normal field ng female. So parang it's a way to invite other female out there na kung gusto nila mag-venture sa ganitong field, pwedeng pwede. Kasi kung kaya, kung kaya ng mga males, kaya din po ng mga females. Erika and other teams are confident they can win the race. Kaya, kaya, kaya pong manalo. We're hoping for the best and uh, we, we want to make our school and uh, country proud. Team Philippines will face over 100 teams from across Asia as they compete in the Echo Marathon in Malaysia next month. It's still a long drive towards energy sustainability, but in the game of life, the race is on. Jackie Pascual, ABS-CBN News.